expert. With the start of a new school year on the horizon, mm -hmm. most kids are used to summertime habits or staying up late or sleeping in. But we have some tips on how to get your kids' sleep cycle back that in that, back. you know, wake up early for school routine before the year starts. Dr. Jacqueline uh -huh. Fakel, she is from the Medical College of Wisconsin, joins us as she does every Friday afternoon. Okay, let's start with... This is a depressing topic because summer is over. Summer, yeah. It, <laughs> it, it, it was when I was a kid. How much sleep do you need for like a grade schooler versus a high schooler? I mean, do you want to make sure mm -hmm. your kids grade are getting? Grade schoolers anywhere between 10 and 12 hours and high schoolers eight and a half to 12 hours. So okay. how do you Everybody's even get this going again? Because again, like I said, it's summertime. Kids are staying up all night and you're saying 10 hours of mm -hmm. sleep. How do mm -hmm. we start this back before school starts? So really a week beforehand you should start and back up their awakening time and their sleep time by 15 minutes every night until you get to the normal wake time. Let's say you've got some older kids, mm -hmm. high school age. How do you get them to bed? Because they're probably, <laughs> they have the after school activities, they've got the mm -hmm. sports, then they've got homework they have to do. I mean, I remember in high school, I was lucky if I was getting six and a half hours of sleep a night. How do you, how do you help that? Well, I think this is a big problem actually, but mm -hmm. we need to cut down on the number of activities and we need to take the electronics out of the bedroom. And I'm sure there's something we can also avoid as far as eating or drinking to help with this right. habit of getting to bed earlier. Caffeine, and in high schoolers, that's a big deal because they, they should not be consuming caffeine beverages anyway, but especially six to eight hours before bedtime, and then um, no heavy meals at night. Six to eight hours before bedtime, no caffeine. No caffeine. Okay, how do we know <laughs> that our kids are not getting the amount of sleep they need? Besides the mm -hmm. fact that they're just nodding off in the middle of a conversation. Right, or in the <laughs> middle of a class, or if they're hyperactive, they have learning dysfunction. I mean, there's many different ways to tell, but most, um, what most research right now is looking at hyperactivity, and they think that it's sleep deprivation. Hmm. Any other advice? Wow. Get some good sleep yourself. You have to be the best role model in the home. You're right. Mm -hmm. Do as I say, That's and right. as I do. That's right. Okay. Early to bed, early to rise. <laughs> Dr. Paykel, thanks. Got a question for the experts? Email them, ask the expert at today's tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail at that number on your screen. Hey, Fish, are you getting enough sleep?